All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I have a team for you that I hit legends with fairly easy. The reason I'm saying fairly easy because I never play in Ultra Premier, and this season I hit legend in Ultra Premier with this team easy. I, I, you will see what I'm talking about. This team does very, very well against the meta, against the entire meta, and it also puts out heavy damage. So you guys, if you, you if you used to my team heavy damage, which I will link in below, Robo, uh, you're gonna love this team because it will deal heavy damage and I really enjoy playing with it. So guys, if you're on our final push to that legend, this is the team. Let's go. Guys, here I am and legend run with this team. So this was my last set when I hit legend and I did an absolute 5-0, absolute domination. So Talonflame, best buddy, rank one. Uh, uh, IVs are above my head, it will pop up multiple times through the stream, I mean the video. And guys, uh, this team is freaking awesome, I really, really love Talonflame. I would have actually used, uh, of course, the birdie that is still caged. Yeah, oh bird. yeah, Fly. what a catch, baby. That's what you want to do, by the way. But, uh, uh, because we absolutely eat that. Jolly sent this super OP, so that was a nice catch. Catch of the day, boy. Woo-wee! So, uh, uh, obviously this is not good, but the reason why I have Ice Beam on the Jolly sense, so I can obviously... You will see how much I can actually handle. This Umbreon to do pretty decent damage, and that's all I need to do. There are obviously no don't shield here, there's no point shielding. But uh, but yeah, so Pidgeot is what I wanted to really use, but obviously Niantic had different options. Uh, not options, bird. different uh, idea, but Pidgeot. It's still freaking cage. Can we please free that bird? Free the bird. bird! Hopefully next season. Anyways, um, so yeah, uh, guys, if you, if you like this team, if you hit Legend, or you're planning to hit Legend with this team, or, or any other reason, please leave a comment and please hit a like, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget, Brandon Tan actually came out to uh, to feature us, and they called us the number one PvP content creator, which I don't deserve as the title, um, but uh, he recommended us in his video, and people came over uh, from the video, and we got like over 800, almost 1,000 subscribers in a few hours when he featured us, and the YouTube, YouTube guys marked them as fake subscribers and they removed them. So I had at least about 40 people at this point came out and messaged me on Twitter saying that, hey, uh, YouTube removed me, but I resubscribed, F YouTube. So guys, if you're one of those and you're not subscribed, please hit that sub button because it would really help me out. It really sucks for a small content creator for YouTube to go against them. And it's not really YouTube, it's their automated system. It, it marked, it, it turned on because we got unusual activity by getting so many subscribers in such a short amount of time. So that's what happened. Anyways, guys, if you're not a subscriber, to really, I would really appreciate it if you could please hit that button. Thank you so much. And if you're a subscriber, hit that like button. Thank you. All right, so back to the battle. Still the first match, by the way. Uh, long matches. But um, anyway, so Talonflame is super OP. And then Grand Bull is also super OP, by the way. But that's the first win, ladies and gentlemen. So now we are going on into that second win, boy. So now, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are continuing on with this team and going to hit that legend. <laughs> ah, let's see what the opponent is coming in with this time. I cannot wait to see, but uh, I can tell you that we, t we will handle it very, very well with this team. And guys, if you if you have a if you don't have a Talon Flame, um, you need one. <laughs> Talon Flame is really good. I, I don't know what, what I mean. Pidgeot would be a good replacement, but. Uh, and a Syndicate could be a pretty good replacement, but okay, so this lead right here, obviously is not the greatest. So what I like to do is I swap into my Jelly Scent, and then uh, basically just come in here, and then uh, usually they bring in with their Venusaur. So this time it's Dragology, Dragology which is actually a good freaking uh, swap for me. So I'm happy about that, because they usually don't think that you're on Ice Beam, and they usually also don't shield because it's not gonna KO them. So they usually go to an Outrage here, and I don't really care. So uh, there we go, see, Outrage, because I survive and I can throw another Ice Beam and then now uh, they either shield if they want to win this matchup or don't, and I'm okay with that. So they want to win this matchup, which is totally fine with me, uh, and they're gonna able to farm us down, which is again totally fine with me as well. And then now we can just come back in with our Talon Flame, throw one, so either force a second shield without getting hit by the, the water move. Okay, perfect. Ah, uh, oh, man, he was able to do that. Well, that's unfortunate, but there is no point shielding here. So, because we will survive that, but it would have been cool if not. But we still have two shields, so we're sitting really well. So, we're gonna swap into. Oh my god, catch of the day or what? What a catch, boy. What a catch. And then now we're just gonna stay in here, and looks like he's not swapping out. Is the timer not up on his end, or he prob or he's double weak to Machamp, or what's going on here? Oh, he wants to draw Earthquake? He says, yeah, now he swaps out. He thought we're not gonna shield, boy. We're definitely shielding. Okay, so he's gonna shield this. And. Nope. It's alright, it still has one more shield. So honestly, uh, both of my Pokemon can actually win this match. So, 
at, the, at this point, because I think uh, Talonflame has uh, enough. Wait, does he have enough? I don't know if Talonflame has enough. Uh, we'll see how much energy it has. But um, Machamp will take care of business here because he's not got a shield. He's keeping it. He, he thought I'm baiting? Or I don't even know what he thought, but he's gonna shield now. And even if he gets to an Earthquake here, uh, he's not gonna able to... Uh, I don't think he's... Because he has to throw an Earthquake here. And then Talonflame... Oh, Talonflame! Ah, uh, man, we almost cut it. But it's alright, because now he throws a Rock Slide, he cannot throw an Earthquake. So we won this match. There's no way he won. See? He, he knocks us out completely, and we just erase that Stun Frisk. So it worked out perfect. Either a Rock Slide or an Earthquake catch was perfect with a Talonflame, a Talonflame and actually was needed. Because the Earthquake would have taken it out. And did he still have a shield left? No, he used the shield. So in that case, then Talonflame could have came in if he throws the Earthquake and wins anyways, because we were at Flame Charge. So that was a win. That was a win, a win, a chicken dinner. So at this point, I just need two more wins to hit that legend because a 4 1 would get me there. But a 5 0 will definitely secure it because I think it would have got, a 4 1 would have taken me to a 2 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 So, which it happened last season, by the way. <laughs> anyway, so this is what you want to do. You want to come in with uh, Jelly Jelly. Uh, tank that Earthquake, you're going to swap out into a Braviary. Finally, some spice. I actually run Braviary and Gengar. Uh, on another team, and I also went positive with that team, the set before this actually. I run Braviary, Gengar, and uh, Shadow Machamp with Payback, and I one-shotted so many Pokémon because nobody expected Payback, and Braviary just, of course, uh, Brave Bird and Close Combat absolutely destroyed. So it was absolutely amazing. Bye! And I shield here because I want to win Switch here. So we can just farm it all the way down, Booyah! And then I needed to win Switch, so that's why I, I had to, because that's Swampert. And he has a Tidal Flame! Oh, this is good, because we can get to a Shadow Ball easy peasy, which will threaten a shield or lower its health where I need it to be, because Machem can cross chop it down at that point. There we go. This is what we wanted. So now that Tidal Flame is no longer a threat for us. Um, so this is perfect. And whatever it throws, uh, Brave Bird or Flame Charge, we can actually survive it. There we go. Perfect. And then Machem can handle both of the Pokemon in the back. And now we are just throwing the Brave Bird, getting rid of the Lost Shield or really hurting this Swampert. And which one is it gonna be? Okay, Lost Shield. Now coming with Machamp, and Machamp can win this match for us. Um, we can tank uh, an Earthquake and a Hydro, but this needs to be an Earthquake for us. Ah, damn it. It's a Hydro. That's alright, we can tank an Earthquake, honestly. Um, so we will survive with very low health, and then we should be able to do enough counter damage that worst case, our freaking Talon Flame can actually uh, uh, incinerate down the opponent. But we'll survive. We'll survive this Earthquake. Uh, yep. See what I say, so farm down and throw the Crush Chop into the Talonflame and we're good. We secured this win. I think even if this doesn't KO, uh, our Talonflame can push through and incinerate. Uh, okay, it doesn't KO, so let's see if we farm, farm, farm. Oh, never mind. He, he... <laughs> Don't even worry about it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't even worry about it. Ah, man. <laughs> what a win, guys. I'm very excited about this. Okay, so next. Come on, come on. Two more wins for the five. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I guess I'm collecting real quick in, in the middle of the match, so I don't have to do the same. I should have cut this out, by the way. I don't know why I left it in there, but I guess you guys can see my amazing throw. Oh my god, what an excellent throw. Uh, at least, uh, yep, see, I couldn't even catch it. I'm a very, very good player. Uh, I, I don't play Pokemon, by the way, outside of PvP. <laughs> I never freaking catch, and I don't. I would run away from these Pokemons. I wish I could run away from this Pokemon, by the way. But unfortunately, Niantic decided that you cannot run away from these, especially when you're annoying when you don't have any more Great Balls and parries, and you're facing a Legend and you have to waste like 60 regular Balls. Jesus. Anyways, so Schmach. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. So here comes the Schmach. And uh, this is good. We just throw Flame Charges here, because Flame Charge will do tons of damage, honestly. And then the usual, they extra Shield. Uh, yeah, see? What did I say? And then now you're doing way more damage you incinerate, and I recommend usually that you Shield here once, but you don't need to. Um, uh, because they usually bait through the Dark Pulse, uh, even though the Gunk Shot would do so much freaking damage. So now at this point we're committed to our Talon Flame, so we're going to double shield, I, I, I think, at this point. What the hell was that? It must have been a glitch, right? And now we have to swap out, uh, and we're gonna have to use our shield here, obviously, because, because we don't want to get hit by a pack, a drill pack. Even though we have six packs and four arms, the drill pack really hurts. So, uh... This, but this will hurt him even more. And we survive one, by the way. So he cannot win this matchup, even if he shields. Yeah, so there's no point for him to shield. And now Schmuck is back, and we get to a Krusty Choppy first. And then if is he shield, Blip has already has in the back. Uh, let's see. Okay, does a shield. Now what's in the back? Last Pokemon, Kingdra. Oh, we got this. So what you need to do to Kingdra, just do a Crush Chops. It will do actually more damage uh, with less energy. So it, it, it's actually a better 
uh, combo. Just crush chop, just crush chop, and we should be able to get to another crush chop, by the way. And yeah, boy, that's why you have a rank four Machamp. German steroids paying off, finally. Yeah, boy, I told you, ma. I told you, ma. This Machamp was worth the investment. Whew. Okay, so now whatever he throws is fine. We can just tank it because our Jelly Jelly can take care of business here. And that was our goal because we didn't want to get hit with the Outrage on our Jelly. But this, he cannot win this match at all. Even the, the Outrage wouldn't KO us. So there was no win come from him. He should have just quit. I think I should have shown my cape so he quits the match. But uh, anyways, guys, that's a win. One more. We are legend at this point, I think. It's 4-1 right now. So there is one more. One more match, ladies and gentlemen. One more match. And if they hit it, we are legends, bo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more. Just one more. Just one more, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Final round. Final round. By the way, if you don't know, we are streaming five days a week. Monday to Friday from 12 p.m. Eastern time all the way to 5, 6 p.m. So six hour streams every weekday, guys. Start off with Pokemon Go, spicy teams and lots of entertainment and then go into uh, Pokemon Unite, ranked duos and trios on the masterclass. We're almost masterclass there too. Anyways, so, okay, perfect. That's what you want, honestly. Gallade, okay, that's horrible for us, but Shadow Ball will KO if he doesn't shield us. And usually they don't shield. Um, oh my god! Because nowadays not many people run that. <laughs> oh my god, I thought he gonna quit, but he was just lagging. Can't believe he didn't shield that dude. Did he, did he really think we're gonna Bubble Beam, dude? So many, so many Jillicent users uh, use Bubble Beam, and, and uh, I assume he thought we're gonna bait. Be, uh, because that was our only win con there, I mean, uh, of that matchup, if we actually throw a Shadow Ball. Dude, that was, that was nasty. I can't believe that he, he, he tried to call our bait. But you guys know, comment it below if you know. We don't bait on this channel. We are not master baiters. Nah, uh, uh. We just hit heavy moves. Heavy moves. Heavy damage only on this channel, guys. Okay, so, uh, obviously we can tank that. And I'm wondering what's in the back, because he's staying a bit swampy. Uh, okay, so Krusty Choppy won't KO, but we'll take him pretty low, and then we can farm it down after that. Uh, Alright, perfect. And we're gonna have to shield if we wanna keep Machamp. Yep, beautiful, we are shielding. And now uh, farm it all the way down. Oh, he stops out, good good move. Oh, and it's a Typhlosion, boy. Alright, we won. Because the Typhlosion will hit heavy with the Incinerate, but we'll resist it with our Talonflame. So, we are, we are winning this. We're gonna swap out, and we can tank that... Uh, oh, dude, he's gonna shield here. He has to shield here because it is a Typhlosion alone. So, I'm gonna have to throw Flame Charge. Oh, he didn't even shield! Shit, I did not think that he's not gonna shield that. But that's alright, because we survived that, and then our Incinerate already registered. So, the, that Typhlosion is gone. He can only throw one Blast Burn, see? And then now, what he has left is the Swampert, and he just quits, and we are legend! <laughs> The fifth time of the season, not fifth time of the season, but a fifth time legends, five time legend right here, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. The stream was lit. We had a high train going right off there. Tons of cheers and bits and everything. And now I'm going to click on that reward so you can enjoy it with me here on YouTube, guys. And there it is. There it is, boy. Hoo -wee! And 3029 is where we got with it. And we got the Karina pose. And guys, that's it for today. Thank you for coming out.